Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how to make new part Katia macro. So making new part in every Katia session is like must do action. So I will show you how to make a new part Katia macro first. You need to record some macros. So let's start, go to tools macro, uh, start recording, choose cut script and let's say I don't need to change this name. So hit start and go to insert, uh, go to file new and new part. Okay. And now you can start recording this macro. So I will close this uh, part now. If I go back to tools macro macros and run this Katya macro 9 run, I will get this uh, new part. So now I want to change this part name here. So I'll also record macro. So let's go back. Uh, go to tools, macro, start recording. Katya script and start. So now go to properties. Properties and change this name like test. And hit OK. And now I will stop recording. Uh, go back to this macro, macro, macros and edit. And now we got this code here. So I will just need these uh, two lines here for now. Copy. And I will go back in macro 9, edit. I will just paste it for now here. And I will save this macro. And uh, now I want to save this file in folder. So I will again go to tools, uh, macro, start recording and choose Katya script. Start and just go to file, save. And uh, I will save in this folder here. So save. And we have this test cut part in folder. Stop recording. Uh, and go back here again in tools macro macros macro 11 edit and we just need these uh, two lines here so copy go back in the first macro so go to edit and uh, now here I will just paste these two lines so uh, now Uh, now uh, this here and this here is from our first macro. Uh, these two lines here are from uh, this third macro and these two lines here from second macro. We combine these two macro in this one uh, macro. So we, I'll just uh, change here. Also we need to change here, let's say, uh, part one. It will not be part one. If I run this macro, I'll got error. So we must uh, here say uh, this uh, product document, part document here, part document copy, and we don't need this part document one uh, part and name. And now we get this part name. So we can now let's say here test one, test one, and here test one two save and we can run this macro 9 so run and we uh, got here uh, cut part and here test name part uh, let's go back to our macro and edit more go to edit and now i want to enter this name here and the same na name here in folder so what i need i need a uh, input box so we'll we'll create input box so dim uh, dim part name part name a string and uh, let's say our part name is equal to input box and here 
enter uh, part name enter part name and please use template or please use standard and let's try to run this macro now also we need uh, we need to copy this and change on some places so here uh, we don't need test one we want this uh, part name part name from this input box so I will just copy here paste and also here this test one I will need to change it also so I will delete question marks and uh, and this part name and also end and one question mark here so now if we run this macro save run we have problem here input box uh, in, in input box save run now we have here input box I will say like um, I don't know uh, one two three four five okay and we now got this uh, part name with this uh, with this name and also in in folder we have the same name and part so it's very good uh, for example to let's make uh, a new uh, new 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 text document and let's say template template so uh, here you can enter like 00 00, uh, zero, zero and part name and zero 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 and save this so this will be like your template for your part name so we can use this uh, let's go and run this macro again tools macro macros uh, run and now we can paste this template and just change this for example and here 30 part name will be I don't know Katya macros and you can here edit also this like 10 so on and now you get this uh, so this macro is very useful and if you when you want to work on on one project uh, you you have here this um, save as location you can go here and edit this save location you can put any save location here uh, also I, I explain this how to make this macro in my website so if you want to read uh, that post go to my website I will put a link in the description of this video so thanks for watching